Hey, what's up guys? iPod Touch Helping here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your already jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone, which is on 3.1.2 firmware. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to update it to 3.1.3 firmware. Alright, so now to do this, uh, you guys will need Snowbreeze on your computer. And like I just said, guys, you guys must already be jailbroken on your iPod Touch or iPhone on 3.1.2 firmware. So, to prove it to you guys that I'm jailbroken, as you can see, I have a theme on there, and I got Cydia right there. And I'm just going to open up Settings here, if I can find it. Settings. And I'll just prove to you guys that uh, I am on 3.1.2 right now. So there it is. Maybe you guys can or can't read that. It says right there, 3.1.2 firmware. Now, I know you guys believe me, but uh, here we go. So once you download Snowbreeze from this website, which I will give you guys a download link, all you guys do is click over here on Snowbreeze and click download, just like that. And then once you download it and install it, you just open it up and you should get a screen like this. And uh, it gives you a little warning, but just click OK, click Next. And I'm going to click Expert Mode. And you guys should too, or if, but if you guys want, you can just click simple mode, but this way you guys will be able to customize your iPod or iPhone a little bit more. So you have to first, after you download Snowbreeze, you will need to download the new 3.1.3 firmware from the link in the video description below. Give you guys another link to that. But now that I'm here, I'm going to have to go back and find where I downloaded my 3.1.3 firmware, which is on my desktop, just scroll down, 3.1.3 right here, that's my firmware. It'll just process it quickly, and then you should get a little pop-up saying whether or not it'll work with your iPhone or iPod Touch, and mine says it does not work with the MC model, which is fine because I have the MD model. Click Done, and click Next. And then what you guys are going to want to do is click General, and then click the Next button. And here you're going to want to click Add Snowbreeze iPhone app. I recommend it. You don't have to, but uh, I do recommend it. And then you're going to want to click Next. And I'm going to just download Cydia. But if you guys want, you can download Icy as well down below. And if you want, you can just download... Or Sorry, that's not Icy. That's Rock. So yeah, you can choose one of the two or both. And then you just click Next. And here is where you can drag and drop uh, deb files, which is... Uh, uh, like applications that developers make, but I have none, so I'm not going to click that. Now here, you can actually choose your boot logo and your recovery logo, but I like both of these logos, so I'm just going to keep it the same, and just click Next, and now I'm done. So now all I have to do is click Build IPSW, and it'll actually make the new 3.1.3 firmware with Cydia and all that custom stuff on it. But uh, now this will not automatically update your iPod or iPhone, so you don't have to have it plugged in yet. And you're just going to click next, and it's going to process it, and extract the IPSW and create it and all that stuff. So I'm just going to pause it here, and I'll get back to you in a second. Alright, so now that it has finished uh, making the new software, or the new firmware, sorry, and as you can see, it's right here. That's the new jailbroken firmware. What you just want to do is just click next, or you can just exit it after that. And now you're going to want to open iTunes and make sure that your iPod or iPhone is plugged in. So now that my iPod is plugged in, all I'm going to do is click on to my iPod. And right here, all I'm going to do is right here on the restore, I'm going to hold shift and left click. So hold the uh, shift button and left click on restore. And you should get a pop-up like this. Now you guys are going to want to find that new custom firmware, not the three, regular 3.1.3 firmware. You're going to want to click the one that says Snowbreeze underscore whatever uh, device you had. So mine's the iPod Touch 2G, so there it is. I'm just going to want to click Open. And I'll show you guys what it's doing here. It's just going to extract the software and do its thing. It's going to do what exactly what it normally does on an iPod Touch or iPhone when it's uh, restoring. So uh, I'm going to pause you guys again because this does take a little bit of time. And I'll get back to you guys to show you what the final jailbroken update looks like. So yeah, here we go. As you can see, my new boot logo has started already. Alright, hey guys. Uh, my, my iPod has just finished uh, 
restoring to the new 3.1.3 jailbroken firmware and I'm just going to scroll over to prove to you guys that I have Cydia here there it is just going to prove to you guys that it does work and everything so yeah thanks for watching guys uh, this is sort of a, how to update your iPod from 3.1.2 firmware to 3.1.3 firmware jailbroken uh, to be honest there's not that much difference in 3.1.2 and 3.1.3 so to be honest I you guys can do this if you want to like I have but you know you don't have to this is not like a big update the big update will be on the new 4.0 firmware but yeah thanks for watching guys i'll catch you guys later don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and yeah I'll just see you guys later